the 2019 Industrial Hemp Conference was a hit. 2019 is going to be a big year for hemp. Over 400 people packed the ballroom, halls, and corridors of the Hilton Burlington to get the latest information about Vermont's newest crop, hemp. UVM Extension agronomist Heather Darby organized this event. The new farm bill uh, was just passed in, at the end of 2018, and, and basically hemp, industrial hemp, is now considered a crop. Um, uh, and so it's managed through the USDA, and that opens up lots of markets, lots of opportunities for farmers, businesses, and industry. Hemp is a variety of cannabis, but unlike other varieties of the plant, there's no high. Hemp is versatile. It can be used to make clothing, paper, and has medicinal properties. Hemp's inclusion to the federal farm bill means it's no longer a Schedule One controlled substance, which is good news for growers and processors like John DiGiuseppe. Two years ago, well, it was just kind of growing hemp and fooling around in the kitchen making products and giving it away. It was really, we didn't start taking money until we had a labeled product. We've only really been in business since July. DiGiuseppe runs Lily Hill Farm in Johnson, where he grows four acres of hemp. The focus of his business is on hemp's healing properties. I want to keep it simple, you know, a good product to the people, um, right from the farm, affordable, um, and just focus on the medicine that it is, you know. You know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it is plant medicine, and it's working. Many of the vendors at this conference are promoting CBD, or cannabidiol. It's the oil extracted from hemp seeds. CBD has shown to have numerous health benefits, but because it doesn't have approval from federal health agencies, CBD remains on the fringes of medicine. Colin Reynolds of Elmore Mountain Therapeutics says that's changing fast. And we're seeing anecdotally and pretty soon, you know, more clinically and more actually proven research, um, we're seeing that these therapeutic benefits in this plant are actually, there's no joke here. For the consumer, lack of regulation means buyer beware. Reynolds wants federal guidelines as a way to mainstream CBD and open up markets. We need to operate with as much integrity as possible. We can't be out there putting out things that aren't what they say they are. You know, and right now there is no regulation. Eventually we want to get to the point where people don't have to even think about those things. They say that it comes from Elmer Mountain Therapeutics, I know it's good. We don't have to do any of this stuff, but we feel to be true industry leaders, we need to put that out there. Jessie Lynn Dolan is a registered hemp grower and a registered nurse. For her, regulating hemp and CBD is vital to consumer protection. We really need to make sure we know what's in the bottle is what's on the label and that patients can use it safely. So I really hope and look forward to us having some rules and regulations so when a consumer or patient grabs that bottle, they know they can trust everything that's written on that label so they can make that informed decision. The 2019 Hemp Conference attracted advocates, growers, and vendors. But other businesses are also getting hip to hemp. Nicholas McClure works as a realtor for Century 21. We've got interested clients that are kind of looking at different uh, different properties, and it's interesting that it ranges from you know a 10-acre property with no improvements to you know some large-scale uh, maybe old dairy or beef farms that uh, have buildings where they can dry and, and they can process. So. Uh, a lot of different scales, but we're excited about it. The excitement about hemp goes beyond this conference. Darby expects the general public's interest to increase as hemp becomes more available and visible. There'll be more hemp acres on the landscape. So people, you know, that are driving through Vermont will start to see this crop um, that looks a little different to them. They'll probably take a double take, you know, is that? Um, and yes, it is. So it's going to become very visual in the landscape. There's going to be more acres, more production, and more, you know, products being produced in the state. So it'll just be more visual overall to people that are, you know, traveling around the state. The jury may be out on issues of regulation and efficacy, but the high interest in hemp looks likely to last. In Burlington, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.